Consider an asset that cost $548,000 and is depreciated straight line to zero over its eight-year tax life. The asset is to be used in a five-year project. At the end of the project, the asset can be sold for $105,000. If the relevant tax rate is 35%, what is the after-tax cash flow from the sale of this asset? The first step is to calculate the annual depreciation expense for our asset. To calculate the annual depreciation expense, we'll take our asset cost of $548,000 and divide it by the eight-year tax life. We get an annual depreciation expense of $68,500. The second step is to calculate the net book value of our asset. The net book value will be our asset's cost of $548,000 minus any accumulated depreciation at the end of the project's five-year life. Our accumulated depreciation at the end of the project's five-year life will be our annual depreciation expense of $68,500 multiplied by the five-year project life. Our accumulated depreciation is $342,500. This gives us a net book value of $205,500. The third step, then, is to calculate any gain or loss on the sale of our asset at the end of the project. In this case, we're going to have a taxable loss. We take our salvage value, which was given as $105,000, and we subtract the net book value of the asset, which was $205,500, which we just calculated in step two. This gives us a loss on the sale of $100,500. This tax loss we can use to offset income in other parts of our business, so it will result in a tax savings of $35,175. We calculate our tax savings by taking the loss of $105,500 and multiplying it by our 35% tax rate. The last step, then, is to calculate the after-tax cash flow from the sale of our asset at the end of the project. This is equal to our salvage value, which was given as $105,000. This is cash we received on the sale of the asset, plus the tax savings we calculated from step three above of $35,175. Our after-tax cash flow, then, is $140,175.